everyone, this is Wes. Uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to install WAMP Server. Um, so what WAMP Server is, is it stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And um, basically what this does is it allows you to run a web server on your local computer um, so you can develop websites um, on your what we call the local host instead of having to edit a file and then upload it every time you make a change um, to your server. Uh, so you're probably used to to uploading files to FTP to a server, um, but this just allows us to uh, be a lot quicker with, with editing our files. Um, generally it's for PHP things, for, so, or, for sorry, for something like WordPress, um, but it's also great for um, just running HTML files uh, on your local host as well. Uh, so to download a WAMP server, you go to wampserver.com um, and you may get, I think you get French by default, so just click English in the top right corner. Uh, go ahead and click the download button. And now there's a whole bunch of um, options here and to be honest it doesn't really matter which one you download, um, but I would recommend going with either this one right here, which is um, 64 bits in PHP 5.3 or this one 32 bits in PHP 5.3. If you're not sure if your computer is 64 bit or 32 bit, don't worry about it. Just download the 32 bit one. That's what I've I've gone ahead and done that one. So when you click it, it gives you this super scary warning with all kinds of red text on there. Uh, don't worry about it. You just click right here. You can download it directly. When you click that, it'll download right to your right, right to your files. Um, I've went ahead and downloaded it right here. So it's it's a bit of a big file, so it takes a, a couple seconds. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just install that with you. So double click it, run. Um, one thing I should note before you get started on any of this, um, there's a weird bug with WAMP server and Skype. Um, and if you have Skype running when you start WAMP server, it won't work, um, or it sometimes will, but it, more than more often than not, it won't work for you. So um, go ahead and quit Skype just for the time being while we're we're installing and starting WAMP, and then when, once you're running, you can start it up again. Um, but it's a, it's a really common bug. And it's kind of weird. So I'm gonna click next, accept. Make sure you read all of that. Um, so it's just gonna install the C WAMP. That's fine. Next. Um, quick launch and desktop icon, yeah, I'd, I'd like both of those. Next, okay, that's fine. Click install. Uh, so this will probably take a little bit, so um, I'll just pause it for a sec and uh, I'll jump back with you when we're ready to go. Okay, so it has finished the install um, and it says Firefox is a been detected on your computer, would you like to use it as a default browser for WAMP Server 2? Um, so basically what this means is when you open up uh, your server, it will use Firefox as the default browser. Um, if you use Chrome or um, you probably shouldn't be using anything else, um, you can click no. If you do use Firefox, then uh, that's great. You can go ahead and click yes. Um, this is a, just a development machine for me, so I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Um, and it's just finishing up the install. It, it just took about uh, three minutes or so. Okay, so um, now that we have it installed, um, you'll get the, you'll probably get this uh, Windows Firewall Security Alert, and this is really important that you pay attention to this uh, because this can um, configure whether your uh, server works or not. Um, so don't just uh, bypass this or push cancel. Let's actually, take a look at it. Um, so we want to say um, the Windows Firewall has blocks and features of this. Um, <clears throat> For the purpose of our workshop, you want to make sure that both of these are clicked. Um, and then when you are ever in, um, say, like a coffee shop or something like that, 
um, you may want to go ahead and adjust these firewall settings but um, just so that we have a, a best chance of it working we're going to have both of them checked go ahead and click allow access um, and now we have PHP mail parameters uh, we're not working with mail so don't worry about that just leave them leave them default click next uh, and now we're done so keep that checked and click finish um, and the WAMP server is going to try and start uh, we get some sort of pop-up here um, click yes and now the important thing we need to note is we see the WAMP icon in the uh, tray right here uh, you might need to click the arrow to make sure you see it um, I like to I think you right click always show or just drag it in there yeah I just dragged it in there um, and then there are four color or three colors of WAMP server there's red which is bad there is yellow which is bad and then there's green which is really good um, so you want to make sure before you come into the workshop that your green WAMP server you're sure your WAMP server is green um, if it's any other color, uh, we're run, gonna run into issues, so make sure that you have this uh, sorted out before you come. Um, so, um, what's going on here? So now that mine is green, um, if it is any other color, um, <clears throat> please ask uh, one of us for help and we'll, we'll be help, happy to help you out. Uh, click the WAMP server icon. Um, if it is, a different color you can just click stop all services and then start all services sometimes I'll just kill everything and then start them up again um, that might help uh, uh, so now we just want to double check that that everything is working so um, when you click your green WAMP icon <clears throat> you'll see uh, there's a, there's a few uh, items here um, the first thing we need to do is is turn on a setting that will allow us to use uh, WordPress permalinks so go to click on your icon go to Apache and then go to Apache modules and there's a huge list of um, a huge list of modules that we have available here don't worry about what these are uh, we just need to find one called rewrite underscore module um, again that's rewrite underscore module and it should be checked not if it's unchecked like it is right now and, and that's by default just go ahead and click it rewrite underscore module I'm clicking it um, a MAMP server will turn yellow for a second and basically what that's doing is it's it's rebooting it um, and there we go it's turned back on it's green again so, so now we're in good shape um, next step that we want to take is um, click on localhost and basically what localhost is is if you go here and click localhost um, it's basically a domain name for your local computer so think of it as a, a dot com for your server but instead of having a dot com it's just um, called localhost and it's available only to you on your computer um, so when you click that um, you should see a screen that looks like this um, if you do you're in really good shape um, and then the other thing we want to check is that PHP my admin is running so there's there's a link underscore under tools here click PHP my admin and you'll see a screen that looks like this um, if we um, if we uh, if you see something that looks like this um, you're in good shape everything is working so again you should go to be able to go to localhost you should see that you should click PHP my admin your WAMP icon should be green and you Apache Apache modules um, rewrite underscore module should be checked right there uh, so those are the, that's just the setup um, the last thing I want to tell you is the directory that we'll be working out of um, so a directory is uh, a folder on your computer where we're going to be putting all of our files um, so how to access that is actually really easy just click on your green WAMP icon and click www directory and this is the directory that localhost pulls out of all of its files out of um, when we visit localhost so I click that it should open up in just a second I'm on a bit of a slow computer 
There we go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so the www directory is C WAMP www. Um, if you don't want to remember that, you can always just click the green icon www directory. Um, and this is kind of your home base. So make sure you, that you have this folder always open because um, this is where we're going to be working out of uh, if you're on a Windows computer. Uh, what we want to do is just test things out. So um, I'm going to right click new and make a new folder called test. So I've made a folder called test and I'm going to double click that and go into it. Um, and now I want to make a new file in here um, called test.php. Um, so I'm just going to open up notepad and I'm going to type hello everything is working great um, and then I'm going to save it and since this is going to go on our web server we can't just save this anywhere on our computer we have to put it in that www directory that we were previously looking at um, so remember it was c wamp ww test so I'm going to go on my computer c wamp www there's our test folder and I'm going to name this test dot html and really important here don't save it as a dot txt file click all files that's really important that you notice that um, so test that html save and now if we go to our local host and um, I'm gonna go forward slash if I just type that it's gonna go to our um, just my normal directory but you, now you'll see that we have a new heading here called your projects and it's called test because remember we made that folder called test so go ahead and click that and you'll see a, a file here called test.html so if you click that so again test test.html you'll see localhost forward slash test which is a folder that we made and forward slash test.html which is the uh, HTML file that we made so now you'll see, hello, everything is working great. So that means that uh, everything has gone smoothly for us and we're in good shape to start the workshop. Uh, so let me know if you have any other questions and uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.